afternoon, everybody. Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism here. Uh, this evening, we're just doing a little behind the scenes look up at Wild Hills Winery. Colleen Halverson, oh, oh we gotta get, get our business together here. Colleen Halverson here and Aaron, the proprietors of Wild Hills Winery invited us up to just have a little chat, kind of the state of the state of the vineyard this year. So Colleen, number one, thank you for joining us. Thank you. You bet, happy to have you. Uh, this wild and woolly year for you, <laughs> because you know adventure is fun, you decided in the year that a pandemic hits, we're gonna purchase a vineyard, which honest, you, you purchased that in November of 2019, so you really didn't know this was coming. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess number one, would that be something you advise other business owners? I mean, I will say that which does not kill you yeah. <laughs> makes you stronger. Does make you stronger. Yeah, I mean, what what next? Zombie apocalypse? Um, Always. Locusts? I mean, yeah. <laughs> we'll get through it. I have a feeling. Excellent, so, excellent. You know, if we can get through this our first year, I feel like we can get through anything. Great, yeah. great. So just a little bit of a, you know, inquiring minds want to know. So you, you purchased a vineyard uh, rolling into the 2020. Um, obviously COVID-19 hit. I was very impressed. I know a lot of people were with, you know, your ingenuity of new ways and using your outdoors and some of your most beautiful spaces to have folks come and join, join you. Um, but I guess, is there something that along the process you were like, boy, I didn't see that one coming or, or this is a new adventure that I did not expect in this adventure? Well, you know, a lot of people warned us about how difficult harvest time was. Mm -hmm. We're not farmers. Um, I don't think I lived a hundred miles within a city before, or I mean, from a, a farm uh, until I moved to Richland County. So I don't really, I didn't grow up knowing farmers. I didn't really understand that process. And everyone warned us that, you know, hold on, because yeah. it, you are in for a ride. And I think, I was not prepared for how just how much work you wake up before dawn, you are going home well past sunset, um, physically exhausted, yep. mentally, emotionally. I probably cried in the vineyard a few times, <laughs> um, but it was also so much fun too. It was so exciting yep. um, to see all that hard work and to know that we have created these wonderful quality grapes that create this beautiful wine. We picked about 80,000 pounds of grapes this year. Yikes. And about half of those went to other vineyards and half of those went to us. So we could create this, uh, this wine that we're drinking today. Very cool. And a real quick uh, shout out that was a, a pretty neat feather in your cap. If I remember correctly, Wollersheim took a shipment of peaches, is that correct? Pears. Pears, yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So we're so excited because, um, you know, in the industry, Wallerstein is like, I don't know, they're like the David Bowie of they, wine, they've, right? they've been here, they've been at yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's a big deal. And so, I mean, I remember going to Wallerstein and just thinking, wow, isn't this so amazing? And to be a part of their um, production was incredible. So we sold about 8,000 pounds of pears from our orchard. Yikes. Specifically, they're Asian pears. And so they are round and r much, much sweeter than usual pears. So they make excellent alcohol. So they're making their pear brandy. So look for that. And we're so excited. I cannot wait to drink it. Excellent. I, I just think for a year one accomplishment, that that you should really juice you a little bit. It should be excited about that. It is that. exciting, yep. and it's exciting because not only do we have a vineyard, we also have an orchard. Yep. And so we have to get creative. Um, so we have pears, plums, peaches, cherries. We have a whole acre of apple orchard. So we're very excited. We're also trying cider this year, and so we have about four or five varieties of ciders that we're going to try, um, like a dry apple cider, a maple. Um, syrup apple cider uh, oh, with some cats. local maple syrup from Viennese <laughs> trees. It's bourbon barrel aged. It's so it's going to be so yummy. And we have black currants. We're one of actually the largest black currant producers in the state. And so we're going to use our black currants to have apple cider and then a cherry apple cider as well. So 
things are happening. It's yeah. so exciting. A lot of, ha a lot of things yeah. happening. And when I heard the black currant that you were using that in other products, not just the black currant wine, I was like, that's very smart move because yeah, the black sure. currant wine is awesome. Yeah. So, well, excellent. Well, real quick to close out, what are we sampling here? Okay, so this is going to be um, a wine called Wanderlust. So we're pretty excited about this wine. So it's not it's not going to be tears in the vineyard. Not tears okay. in the vineyard. Okay, because I thought that's where we were going. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> tears of joy. Um, no, so Wanderlust is made with a French American hybrid called Mary Shell Foge. So this is going to be oaked, and we're pretty excited about that. So this is a very it's pretty young yet, so it's still got a ways to go, but it is coming pretty soon. Um, and it's got, uh, it's a dry red wine. It'll have, um, it has beautiful berry flavors. So Mary Shell Foch naturally has um, wonderful berry flavors of black cherry, black currant, um, and strawberry. We're getting a lot of strawberry this year. So it's really delicious. Um, and we're just really excited about it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, with that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. You betcha. I, I have to sample because the last time we were up here, I got yelled at for not sampling on video. Mmm, dang. What do you think? There's, okay, there's a lot of flavor. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I Seriously, very, very Thank impressive. You. I can't wait, because I'm, I'm a dry red wine fella, and the idea of then having it oaked is exciting to me. So yeah. I, I look forward to checking that out here down the road. Yep, so it'll be pretty soon. You, so this summer, this should be available and many more wines to come. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for kind of giving us a behind the scenes look and kind of giving us a little bit of a, hey, this is how the year went and just some of your experience. You know, we're really rooting for you at Richland Center Tourism. We're excited to see the future because we know there's a lot in store. So thank you so much thanks for so joining much. us, Colleen. Yeah, thank you. You bet. Well, hey, folks, thanks for joining us. I'm Marty Richards again with Richland Center Tourism. Have an excellent day. <laughs> well, we can clip the back end if we have to. It will not stop.